Charlotte's Web takes place on a farm. It's the story of a little pig and all of the friendships he makes. Let's see how his story begins. <laughs> Please don't kill it, she sobbed. It's unfair. Mr. Arable stopped walking. Fern, he said gently, you will have to learn to control yourself. <laughs> control myself, yelled Fern. This is a matter of life and death, and you talk about controlling myself. Tears ran down her cheeks as she took hold of the axe and tried to pull it out of her father's hand. Fern, said Mr. Arable, I know more about raising a litter of pigs than you do. A weakling makes trouble. Now run along. But it's unfair, cried Fern. The pig couldn't help being born small, could it? If I had been very small at birth, would you have killed me? Mr. Arable smiled. Certainly not, he said, looking down at his daughter with love. But this is different. A little girl is one thing. A little runty pig is another. I see no difference, replied Fern, still hanging on to the axe. This is the most terrible case of injustice I ever heard of. A queer look came over John Arable's face. He seemed almost ready to cry himself. All right, he said. You go back to the house, and I will bring the runt when I come in. I'll let you start it on a bottle, like a baby. Then you'll see what trouble a pig can be. When Mr. Arable returned to the house, half an hour later, he carried the carton under his arm. Fern was upstairs changing her sneakers. The kitchen table was set for breakfast, and the room smelled of coffee, bacon, damp plaster, and wood smoke from the stove. Okay. So we've met a few of the characters. Who have we met? Well, we met Fern, a little girl, and Mr. Arable, her father. How would you describe Fern? Well, Fern seems pretty angry at her father. She's angry, but she's also kind. She doesn't want the pig to die. What words would you use to describe Fern? Mr. Arable wants to kill the pig because he's a runt, but Fern insists this is unfair. What is a runt? Well, there's some clues in what we read. Her father says, a weakling makes trouble. And Fern says, the pig couldn't help being born small, could it? So a runt is the smallest and the weakest uh, of a group of animals that are born at the same time. Maybe you've seen a lot of kittens born together or a lot of puppies. The smallest one would be a runt. Fern insists, this is the most terrible case of injustice I ever heard of. What does injustice mean? Well, she doesn't think it's fair that the pig should be killed because it's small. An injustice is something that is not fair. What do you think? Is it an injustice? Or should Mr. Arable have killed the pig? Well, I look forward to learning more about the adventures of this little pig and the friends he makes as we continue reading Charlotte's Web.